Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will talk about jQuery load function. Guys, this is my HTML document and what load function will do. It will load some content from an external file inside this file and this will do this without refreshing the page. So, firstly, guys, I'll make a button here. Input i4 button and I will give it a value of load it and I will give it a id of btn. And guys, I'll make a div tag here and I will write ext content. I'll give it a ID of ext content, means external content. When I click this button, then some content from the from an external file will be loaded inside this div tag. So firstly, guys, I'll open it in browser. When I click it, then the content will be loaded. So firstly, guys, I'll create a file here. So I'll give it a name of ext.html. I'll make a HTML file. And from this file, I will load the content. So I'll make a HTML5 file here. And firstly, I'll include a image here. So I'll write image source equal to 12.png, which is saved inside same folder. So I'll write it. 12.png and I write this content coming from this content is coming from an exter external file so guys uh, for that we will go to external jQuery file so I write dollar sign single quotes and I will write btn.click means, means when I, I will click the button so I write btn dot click then function then so I write ext content so I write ext content it is a id so I write a pound sign dot load means load something inside this div tag who has an id of ext content and then load inside this load function uh, we will type the name of that external file from which we want to load the content so i will write ext.html it can be a php file a txt file or any kind of file so this is our code so we will go to browser i will refresh when i click it i can see it is loading this content from an external file without refreshing the page you can see it is not refreshing the page so this same technique is used in ajax because ajax load the page sorry ajax load the content from the database without refreshing the page so guys this was about jquery load function if you have any question in your mind then you can leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see you in the next tutorial